This is a quick comparison of the uh, Ubiquiti USG Security Gateway versus the Edge Router Lite. Um, I've had the Edge Router Lite for years, you can tell by the logo. There, it's the old one. And I finally came and got the USG. I don't like it, so there's a spoiler, but you know what? I figured I'd show you guys specifically why I don't like it. Uh, let's get it. I mean, this is a new, this is somewhat of a slightly newer model, as you could see, uh, because the third port says LAN2 WAN2, where they, uh, it used to say just VoIP, um, and so that's been changed over. But identical, hardware-wise, nothing has changed. Uh, these two are basically exactly the same in terms of spec, a 500 megahertz CPU. I got my Gigabit Fios, and uh, both of them handle Gigabit very well. There's my cat, I named them Cisco like the company. But uh, yeah, I mean, off the bat, what I don't like about this thing is that it runs extremely, extremely hot versus the USG. This thing is just quiet and very cool, and well, they're both quiet, but they're very cool, and I've never had an issue with it. Um, you do get the controller software, but I am not impressed. I thought I would like it. I've, in, I've done installs for um, Ubiquiti equipment, and it, it looks impressive. I have the, the wireless access point, but I'm not impressed with the unit, the, uh, the USG itself, compared to this thing. And let me show you what hardware-wise, they both have these four ports where you've got the, uh, you know, LAN, WAN, and, well, so this, is, you can assign whatever you want, and they both have the console port, and they're both wall-mountable, um, that's a big plus, so don't have to worry about that. Pain point number one, uh, got my controller spinned up on a Mac Mini, and, uh, you can see it doesn't always show the NetBIOS name, so what, the name on a network that you assign it, you know, you can see the Fire TV, and then you know, maybe like my iPad, I didn't have to do anything, it just shows up automatically. Uh, the, but some devices, I, I don't know what it is, but the Mac, it just shows the Mac address. When I just had the controller with just the Wi-Fi access point, it would show the name. I don't know why, it's so frustrating, and it shows no problem on the, the, the edge router light. Uh, number two, I mean, so what I did, I just had to go here to general, when you click on each device, and you type in the name, the alias. That was kind of the only workaround I could do. And um, IP address, so you have to type it in manually there for IP uh, DHCP reservation. So it's it's annoying because you don't have you you have to um, there's no just one table, one central location with uh, edge router light. I'll show you that in a second. It's really cool. Um, I will say that certain device certain features aren't the so worst. I did deploy this into a school, so this was actually really cool when I first used this. Is adding multiple networks and having VLANs and everything and the Wi-Fi networks for each VLAN. It was really cool. So you just kind of go here to networks under, you know, the control center, click new, and then I'll do advanced. It was, I think, a lot easier to be honest on the uh, more straightforward on the older controller software. So this is a new updated controller um, in version 6.0 where they changed a lot of things. And uh, yeah, I mean, you could assign the VLAN, the subnets and all that. and and you know you can assign ports to cer certain VLANs and all this and that. I don't have any uh, Ubiquiti switches, so there's that. But yeah, I mean, that's that's that. I it's not really a deal breaker, but you know, just little things like that um, where it's great if you have a large, a somewhat medium-sized school network where you have a lot of devices to worry about. But you know, for um, small devices like. Uh, for me, like for in a home where I want more control, I'm gonna choose the uh, edge router dashboard. light. Yeah. This is the dashboard I was talking about, um, where you you could see you know the throughput for the entire network. Um, this is new; they never had this kind of um, dashboard before, and I much preferred the edge router light. I'll show you in a second, but yeah, this just doesn't show you too much of an insight. It doesn't always tell you. I don't know. I just. It's not as nice as the uh, USG. I'm gonna uh, edge router light. I'll show you. As you can see, it is just better. So I'm gonna do a speed test, and you can see <clears throat> the dashboard is just. <laughs> it's easier to just use. So look at that spiking up the download. Just hover your mouse over it, and boom, tells you the rate, 870. And uh, oh yeah, so the third network. Um, that's sort of like a second for servers. I uh, have it firewalled on the main network, the second uh, Ethernet port. But yeah, I mean, this is it in a nutshell. You can do all the stuff here, the magic. You've got, um, 
got the firewall rules. Um, port forwarding, as you can see, it's it's just in one little portal. Uh, likewise for DHCP, you just, you know, rather than going to each individual host, you've got a nice convenient static mapping. It's just better in so many ways. But yeah, as you can see, this is why I love it better. I never use QoS or VPN, but yeah, it just feels more like a router versus the USG, which is more of um, it's more of a dashboard product. Now it's not a bad thing, but this is the kind of stuff you need, a nice table, a centralized, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope this is helpful to somebody.